As Black History Month continues, we have shared the stories and contributions of black Iowans throughout our state's history. Local 5's Carson J.S. Reichardt in studio with us tonight with a look at how one trailblazing Iowan is being remembered. Carson. Ever heard the name Frank Kinney Holbrook? He was the first black college athlete in the state. And today, I met several passionate Iowans who are working to help keep his story alive. Holbrook's story sounds like something out of a movie. His father escaped from slavery during the Civil War and moved to the town of Tipton, Iowa. That's where his son was born. And the young Holbrook started making his mark early. He became Tipton's first black high school graduate and got the opportunity to make history again shortly after when he joined the Iowa Hawkeyes football team. First black collegiate athlete in Iowa history. Um, he led the Hawkeyes to their first conference football championship in 1896. He became one of the, the star backs in, in the nation. Holbrook's story is now being told in the documentary The Shoulders of Giants, directed by another former Hawkeye, Quinn Early. I got to follow in his footsteps along with all the other black athletes that followed Frank Kenny Holbrook. Today, Hope Elim Church in Des Moines hosted a screening of the film featuring a Q&A with the director. Dana Chandler, who helped organize the screening, told me how much Holbrook's story mattered to her. As a young girl growing up in Iowa, you just didn't hear stories about what black people did in that capacity. The history that we were told was more of the civil rights, Jim Crow, and all the things that we all know. Sadly, Holbrook passed away of a sudden heart attack in 1916 at just 39 years old. Now, more than 100 years later, his story is finally being shared with a new generation of Iowans. It is so important that we preserve that for our young people. It's, a, it's an issue around legacy. It's an issue of res, res, restoring an element of dignity. And Holbrook has an incredible story, Carson, and there has been more, uh, more done to preserve it. Yeah, that's right, John. So Josh Meyer with the Frank Kenny Holbrook Memorial Society is actually working on getting a statue of Holbrook commissioned in his hometown of Tipton so they can celebrate their hometown hero all year long. Very nice. And then if people want to watch this documentary? Yes, it is available for streaming on Vimeo. Okay, very good, Carson. Thank you for that story.